Okay, I have a physics problem for you. Here I have a toy. This is, it's called different things, um, but I'm just gonna tell you what it does. Okay, so there's a ball and there's a spring right there. And so if you push the ball down, nothing happened, but there's some pins right there. If I push the ball down all the way, and I take this and stick it in, then the ball stays there. And then if I pull this out, watch what happens. I'm gonna stand back. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, so what happens if it shoots the ball straight up? What happens if this is rolling down a track and while it's rolling, it shoots the ball up? What will happen? Okay, I'm gonna show you that demo. Okay, so why does the ball land back in the cart? Here's my short explanation um, with a little bit of physics. Okay, so here I have a cart moving with some speed in the X direction, BC, at a constant speed. And then it launches the ball straight up relative to the cart. It's not straight up. Okay, so let's look at the motion of just the cart. So if at this instant right here, this is my T equals zero. So at T equals zero, I could say X cart equals zero, because that's where it started, plus V cart delta T. So this is from the kinematic equations. It comes from the definition of average velocity. And this tells you wherever the, if you know the time and the velocity, you can find the cart. That's it. Okay, so that's important. Now, the motion of this one's a little bit more complicated because it's moving in two, two directions. It's moving in the Y direction and in the X direction. In the X direction, it has this, x ball equals zero, because it starts at x equals zero, plus vc delta t. Because when I launch this ball, it's moving v0 in the vertical direction, but it's moving at vc in the horizontal direction. So it's horizontal velocity with vc, so it has the same equation as the cart. So it's gonna, its position this way is gonna stay the same. That's why it lands. Okay, but then let's just write the y equation because. Okay, so let's say it starts at y equals zero, then y ball equals zero plus v zero delta t minus one half g delta t squared. So in the y direction, the ball starts moving up and it's accelerating negative g, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So it goes up and it comes back down, but it doesn't matter because the whole time it's moving, it stays under the ball. And that's why it lands back in the cart. Okay, now for the question. What if I take this and I put it at an incline so the cart's rolling down the track? I'm gonna show you that and let, actually, you think about whether it lands in the cart or not, and then I'll show it to you. 